Imagine a barren school ground, a swing that only knows the embrace of wind. If you listen closely, you can still hear the laughter of children over the demolition crew. Such irony, how a school is in ruins just to make way for the middle class. Tonight and every night, an exclusive screening of the latest feature sweeping the country, gentrification. On the corner of James Street North, there's a Catholic church being remade in the image of a condo. A hungry collection plate, an overdue rent bill, residents drown in both debt and baptism. The church was built on top of a graveyard, and the ghosts can no longer afford to rest in peace. All praise be to landlord, to pastor, and past due. All praise be to the steel mountain horizon. Suburbia spreads like a fog, and on Barton Street, a pink eviction notice hangs like a bloodthirsty bat. The vultures salivate. And so do the bankers. Just up the road, a father of four is laid off from Nebraska. Expiring contracts, budget cuts, outsourcing, everything is dying at his graveyard shift. Here lies James Street. There are hipster bars where there used to be forested maple trees. Kids stock the block with their patchy beards and their $7 coffee. A chocolate opens and everyone forgets what once was that this city used to be blue collar. That shop used to be black owned. That franchise was once a family restaurant. Here, parking is no longer free. Halloween is every day as developers stock the block looking for condominium suites trick or treat. Gentrification. Times calls it a masterpiece. Capitalists call it worthy of several sequels. Neighborhoods call it every day. Nominated for the best special effects. Watch as they green screen out poverty and whitewash everything. Gentrification, what a brilliant director. Watch as all roles are reduced to extras. Everything can be cut, like the budget, affordable housing, social programming, a slasher flick, a new spin on a timeless classic who prays for us as developers perform exorcism and drain the spirit out of a city. How long until my neighborhood becomes a ghost town? Until we have to talk to each other through a Ouija board. And I know black people are always the first to go in films like this. Gentrification, a real blockbuster, a real psychological thriller, and those who don't make it through the whole film just end up in a trailer. And I wonder if all this is real. How long until they come for me to? Where do all the ghosts go when they have no place left to haunt?